What is going on guys, Rangel Mongo 12 and we are back with Ultimate Spider-Man issue 33. So the end of the previous issue, we saw Peter and Mary Jane break up. We saw this thing going on with Gwen Stacy living with Aunt May and Peter now. And of course, we got the spider imposter caught. So that's awesome. But now we're jumping into the Venom saga. And as you can see by the front cover, it is awesome. Mark Bagley's artwork on Venom, specifically in the Ultimate Universe, is one of the most iconic drawings of Venom out there. Now I can't wait to get into this issue and I'm sure neither can you. So let's go. The issue picks up with us joining Peter in his bedroom and of course he's lying on the floor not knowing what to do with his life because he's just split with Mary Jane, he's lost Harry Osborn as a friend, he's now got Gwen Stacy living with him and that spider imposter actually ruined his reputation as a superhero so not everything's going too well for Peter Parker at this point and he doesn't know what to do. As you can see he's in that emotional rut just thinking about Mary Jane all the time wondering what she's doing, wondering what she's thinking, wondering whether he should call her or not and then throwing his phone across the room against the wall smashing his phone so that not only can he not ring Mary Jane but now Mary Jane can't ring him either. This is what I love about the Ultimate Spider-Man comics because Brian Michael Bendis as a writer somehow manages to force the emotions from the characters into the words and through to your face and it is just brilliant the way he does that. Now as we move on throughout the comic Peter tries to move this wardrobe out of the way to get to his phone and he finds this hidden door and it actually leads to a basement with his name all over these boxes and he finds pictures of him and his father, him and his mother, him and his parents. Now this creates an emotional impact for Peter especially because he hardly knows any of his parents, he hardly knows his mother, he hardly knows his father so to see them smiling see them in a picture together really brings those emotions back for Peter like imagine not seeing your parents since you was a little boy and then growing up to be like 15 or 16 years old and finding these random pictures that you never knew about you really feel that connection between you and Peter especially if any of you guys are in like a similar situation in real life maybe you'll connect with Peter a bit more on this so Peter finds a videotape and he walks straight past Aunt May and Gwen talking in the kitchen, completely blanks them pretty much, and just goes straight through to the TV, obviously because he's so startled with what he's just found, and he proceeds to watch it, he sees him at a picnic table with his mother, his father, Eddie Brock, Eddie Brock Sr, and I honestly believe that this is something that maybe Peter needs right now, especially because he's just broke up with Aunt May, his life is pretty much in a wreck right now with his superhero reputation being ruined and stuff like that, so for him to see a video of him and his family having an awesome time at a picnic really makes him stop thinking about these negatives in his life and sees the positive things and just to see his memories like him as a kid and everything like that is awesome. In this video we also get to see some of the major characters of the Ultimate Universe in their younger forms like Uncle Ben and Aunt May. Aunt May looks hella young and Uncle Ben is rocking a ponytail and it looks awesome just to see how these people grown up and just to see what Aunt May used to look like especially Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben didn't really change that much but you can see a difference there. Now what we're seeing on screen is Aunt May actually watching this stood behind Peter and of course this brings back memories for her as well. Seeing Uncle Ben still alive, seeing all of these people that she used to hang out with takes its toll on Aunt May as well and something that we actually discovered from the video, Peter's father and Eddie Brock's father used to work together. They were working on some special project that was going to be revolutionary and we're actually going to see a little bit of insight into that later in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, especially at the end of this issue. Aunt May reveals that all of this crazy stuff in these boxes was all left for Peter until he was older. It was obviously something that he inherited and from this tape Peter actually wants to track down Eddie Brock and give him this videotape and in my opinion I kind of feel like maybe he tracked down Eddie Brock a little bit too easily. I mean how many Eddies are going to be in the entire city of New York and Peter finds him within a matter of minutes or at least that's what it looks like from the comic anyway. We also did get a little easter egg there because in case you guys don't know, Eddie Brock in the Ultimate Universe is actually a few years older than Peter Parker so Eddie's in college at this point and the easter egg was that he was actually in the Tony Stark building at Empire State University. So as we saw just back there, Peter and Eddie Brock actually talk on the phone and they arrange to meet, they arrange to catch up and Peter walks straight into Empire State University, sees all these awesome things around college and just knows that he wants to go there, that's what he's looking forward to, that's basically what he's dedicating his life to right now, or that's what he's doing in the future, that's his dream, just to go to college, just to live a normal life, of course Spider-Man gets in the way of that, but still that is what he wants to do. Now as we know in the, well pretty much all comic books, Eddie Brock is destined to become Venom and this is what's kind of a little bit different in the Ultimate Universe because Peter and Eddie Brock used to be best friends and of course right here one of the major things that Peter is doing is telling Eddie Brock about his girlfriend or at least his ex-girlfriend Mary Jane. So Eddie is getting that information, of course he's seeing it as a friend right now and everything like that 
but Eddie later uses that information to try and take down Peter as Spider-Man and I think that is some of the faults that Peter has right here. Peter doesn't necessarily know what type of guy Eddie Brock is and he's just revealing all of these personal life things to him and it's a little bit crazy but of course Eddie Brock gives some advice to Peter saying that he's not going to remember anything by then and he's going to be so far ahead in five years time and then Eddie wants to show him something. So they head on down to the lab and as you can see it's night time now so they've been there all day pretty much and Eddie and Peter enter this laboratory and they actually open this locker and what's inside the locker is something a little bit crazy and you guys are probably going to recognise it especially because it was used as concept art in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie and it is their inheritance and can you guys guess what is in the bottle? Yes, you guys got it right. It is the Venom symbiote inside that bottle, or at least right now it's just known as the symbiote. And in the Ultimate Universe, that project that Eddie's father and Peter's father are actually working on was a symbiote that was going to cure cancer. Of course, someone actually tries to weaponize it, and it eventually becomes the Venom symbiote. And we're going to see Peter wear the black suit in the next issue, or at least begin to wear it. So guys, look forward to that issue, but what did you think of this? Let me know in the comments section below. I, for one, loved the cliffhanger at the end of this issue, so I'm going to be giving it a 9 out of 10. What did you think of Eddie Brock as a character? Let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button on this video. Go to the links in the descriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest comic book news updates. And of course, on Twitter to hear about when my videos are going to be uploaded and edited, etc. If you want to know what I'm doing in my free time when I'm not editing these videos, then follow me on Instagram. And also, don't forget about the giveaway, which I am doing on Instagram for the Amazing Spider-Man Renew of Ours issue 4. You can get to that by clicking the link in the description. Now, guys, last but not least, hit the subscribe button for more. And I will see you all in my next video.